Time isn't what makes you a man, but rather how you choose to live it. Welcome to my journey to 30. On the 24th day of the 12th month, a boy was born. But I guess even boys have to one day grab their toys. Growing up in Peckham, I saw it as my oyster. A hybrid society where the taste of Africa met the seashore river streets of South London. Peckham became my nation. The shouting in the street market soon became like my national anthem. The fresh smell from the market stalls became testament to the morning's awakening. Peckham, the place where my purpose was moulded. Peckham, the place where speaking to police got you scolded. Peckham, the place where pain turned the steering wheel of your mind, leading you towards a cold prison or pillars of divine purpose. I hope Goldsmith Road would one day lead me to a big pot of gold at the end of it. Even Dorothy was told to follow the yellow brick road, yet some of the locals lived in yellow brick buildings. The rough block of Wakefield House was my home. You should have seen our faces. From witnessing drug syringes on staircases, to the urine smell in strange cornered places, there's no place like home, they said. That's true. I love Peckham. Back in the days, playing out after school, I wanted a big football stage. But like every footballer's dream, it started from within the cage. That was our training ground, which was also the Peckham Boys gladiator stage. There's nothing better than beating a Peckham Boy at one touch or pound up, but you must keep your guard up, as friends can quickly turn to foes faster than you can touch your nose. From fist fights to flick knives to metal hammers, the ring of violence was an evening alarm accompanied by blue sirens. Peckham was a priceless society, a mix and blend of poverty and prosperity, a tale of pain and promises, a place where the concrete jungle allowed roses to birth and blossom through its cracks. Keen to fit in, I put football on the back burner for a season and picked up the mic. Listening to Soul Solid Crew was the reason. I was pretty good, but the local gangster rappers never gave me a chance. Chances are rappers were keen on using a formula that got them the same drugs. My future thoughts quickly cut and twisted from football and music to girls and money. The joys of doing a step over and a nutmeg began to wane. No Rooney. Gassed off my money drive from my uni student loan, making girls moan, my pride and ego grew aggressively, while my class attendance and uni grades plummeted pitifully. I blame life while forgetting what my queen mother taught me. Son, be accountable and learn to take responsibility. In the midst of me being lost, God seemed to speak to me the loudest. He showed me my sin and the need for a saviour. He then showed me true manhood with Jesus as the model. He spoke to the talking drums of my Nigerian heart. His marvelous light lit the pathway and showed me where to start. The hypostatic union became my abode, while the divine spirit, the Paracletos, showed me the road. While life taught me to love things and use people, God began to teach me to love people and to know how to use things. I've come to learn that life isn't merely one destination, more so a journey of destinations living at one's chosen purpose, leading me past the trenches of pain, dodging bitter bullets that take lives while parents shed tears like rain. Embrace who you are, where you are, with what you have. Don't look back on the past unless it's to smile about how far you've come. Don't look down on people unless it's to lift someone up and help them run. But keep moving forward, remain faithful, and learn to enjoy the journey we call life. My journey to fame. Oh, if you want cook soup, now what are you going to use? Tori Bangbona, oh, Miller.